Welcome to QuexBook Learning. Our topic for today is all about limits. We will try to solve limits using a table of values. So let's have our first example. Find the limit of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. Now, in solving limits like this, the first thing we can do is to plug in 2 to the equation in hoping we can have a favorable output. So let's try. Let's evaluate the equation f of 2 is equals to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Now, let's plug in 2 to the value of x. We'll have 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2. Let us simplify. 2 squared is 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, 2 minus 2 is 0. Notice that there's a 0 in the denominator. We can't consider this as the answer because this number is undefined. Meaning, when x is 2, we don't have any specific value. So what we can do to solve this limit is to try to plug in numbers that are approaching or close to 2. So let's try 1.9. Evaluating the function, we have 1.9 squared minus 4 over 1.9 minus 2. 1.9 squared is 3.61 minus 4 is negative 0.39. Now, 1.9 minus 2 is negative 0.1. Dividing the function, we'll have 3.9. Now, let's just plug it in our table. For the next number, let's try a number much closer to 2. Let's try 1.99. Evaluating the function, we have 1.99 squared minus 4 over 1.99 minus 2. 1.99 squared is 3.9601 minus 4 is negative 0.0399. Now, 1.99 minus 2 is negative 0.01. Dividing the function, we have 3.99. Now, if you notice, there's a pattern that as our x approaches to 2, the limit of our function gets closer and closer to 4. We can conclude that 4 is the answer in this problem. But, to make it sure, let's try the values on the other side. How about we plug in 2.01? Let us evaluate the function. We have 2.01 squared minus 4 over 2.01 minus 2. 2.01 squared is 4.0401 minus 4 will have 0.0401. Now, 2.01 minus 2 is 0.01. Dividing the function, we'll have 4.01. Another number much closer to 2. Let's try 2.001. Let us evaluate. 2.001 squared minus 4 over 2.001 minus 2. 2.001 squared is 4.004001 minus 4 is 0.004001. 2.001 minus 2 is 0.001. Now, dividing the function, we'll have 4.001. So, likewise, if you notice, there's still a pattern that as our x approaches to 2, the limit of our function gets closer and closer to 4. So, the answer for this problem is 4. How about this next example? Find the limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. Now, since the denominator is x minus 1, if we plug in our x, which is 1, to the equation, it will surely give us an undefined answer. So let's prove. Let's plug in 1. So we have 1 minus 1 is 0. So any number that has a 0 in the denominator is considered undefined. So to solve this limit, let's try to plug in numbers that are approaching to 1. Let's try 0.9 first. Evaluating, we have 0.9 squared minus 1 over 0.9 minus 1. 0.9 squared is 0.81 minus 1 is negative 0.19. Over 0.9 minus 1 is negative 0.1. Dividing the function, we have 1.9. Now, for our next number, let's try a number much closer to 1. 
How about we try 0.99? Now, evaluating, we have 0.99 squared minus 1 over 0.99 minus 1. 0.99 squared is 0.9801 minus 1 will have negative 0 0.0199 over 0 0.99 minus 1 is negative 0 0.01 now dividing the function will have 1.99 so it's obvious that as our x approaches to 1 the limit of our function gets closer and closer to 2 now, to confirm this assumption, let us try the other side. How about we plug in 1.01? So we'll have 1.01 squared minus 1 over 1.01 minus 1. Simplifying, 1.01 squared is 1.0201 minus 1 is 0.0201. 1.01 minus 1 is 0.01. Dividing the function, we'll have 2.01. Now, a number much closer to 1, 1 1.001. 1.001 squared minus 1 over 1.001 minus 1. 1 1.001 squared is 1.002001 minus 1 is 0 0.002001. Now, 1.001 minus 1 is 0 0.001. Dividing the function, we'll have 2.001. So it's clear that as our x approaches to 1, the limit of our function gets closer and closer to 2. Therefore, the answer for this problem is 2. Now, for our last example, and by the way, if you want us to produce more learning videos like this, please support our YouTube channel by subscribing and sharing our videos. You can also comment down what topics you want us to discuss and we will take note of it for our future learning videos. Now let's go back for our last example. Find the limit of x cubed minus 27 over x minus 3 as x approaches to 3. Since the denominator is x minus 3, if we plug in 3 to the equation, it will give us a 0 in the denominator, which makes our answer undefined. Let us substitute 3 to the value of x. So we'll have 3 minus 3 is 0. So to solve this limit, again, let's try to plug in numbers that are approaching to 3. Let us try 2.9. We have 2.9 cubed minus 27 over 2.9 minus 3. Simplifying, we have 2.9 cubed is 24.389 minus 27 is negative 2.611. 2.9 minus 3 is negative 0.1. Dividing the function will have 26.11. Let's try another number much closer to 3. How about 2.99? So 2.99 cubed minus 27 over 2.99 minus 3. 2.99 cubed is 26.730899 minus 27 is negative 0.269101. Now, 2.99 minus 3 is negative 0.01. Dividing the function, we'll have 26.9101. Now, we can see where the pattern leads us, but let's still try the other side. Let's plug in 3.01. 3.01 cubed minus 27 over 3.01 minus 3. 3.01 cubed is 27.270901. Minus 27 is 0 0.270901. 3.01 minus 3 is 0 0.01. Dividing the function, we'll have 27.0901. Now, let's try to plug in 3.001. We'll have 3.001 cubed minus 27 over 3.001 minus 3. Simplifying the function, we'll have 3.001 cubed is 27.027009 minus 27 is 0.027009001. 3.001 minus 3 is 0 0.001. Now dividing, we have 27.009001. So it's clear to us that as our x approaches to 3, the limit of our function gets closer and closer to 27. 
So the answer for this problem is 27. So that's the end of our discussion and see you on our next learning videos. Enjoy learning!